How are you doing, beautiful souls? It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. If you're coming for the first time, please do join the family by pressing the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time when I upload a new video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate you. <laughs> How to spot and deal with these people who are the so-called the energy vampires the type of people every time when you have to interact with them and talk to them or just the ice breaking conversation is so toxic and it is so heavy and it's draining with these type of people and also how to deal with them because we need to know how to protect our energies at all times there are people who constantly come in our spaces and our personal lives with a purpose of just disrupting you and just making you to vibrate lower but you have the power to prevent that from happening because these people are also feeling low themselves. So that's the only thing they know. But we're going to dive deep and explain further. But before I do, guys, please do allow me to share some few couple of updates. I think every Monday we're going to be having some updates because it's like it's been a long time since we spoke. Uh, videos are going to be available on, on this channel on Monday, on Wednesday and Friday. So that means I haven't spoken to you guys since last this week friday i went to an event that was super amazing obviously i was part and parcel of people who were coming to have fun in the event i just love 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 but the atmosphere of being in a crowd and enjoying the type of music that i love like i love music so much i listen to almost all genres of music and i found music uplifting i found music to be able to give you the type of energy that you need at that particular time. Like if you're feeling sad, there's certain music that you can listen to and that can make you feel even more sadder. If you're going through a breakup, you know those kind of songs that we enjoy listening to because you want to feel yourself experiencing this and music just magnifies everything. Also, beautiful things apply. It's like let's say you've got a job, you've got a promotion, you finished school, you graduated, like graduations are happening right now currently. And you just want something to lift you up. You know that particular song that you always want to go to when you want to celebrate, when you're feeling good. And you know the type of emotions the song will bring up. So, like, I love music so much. I find it very spiritual, personally. And I absolutely love um, this event. Not only that there's only females there, because we like it's like girl power, feminine energy. But also, Jay, it's like it gives us that room as ladies to bond a little bit because we are the so-called known to be like disliking each other in some instances in society as a whole. So, so I'm going to show you some little bit of clips to, to, to see. The beautiful atmosphere, by the way. So... This is not just a terminology for exaggeration. It is reality. There are people who purposefully go around to describe people's emotions and feelings and how they feel about themselves in the workplace more than other places that are in the workplace. But you also find them in family members. You'll find them in your friends sometimes. These are the type of people who feed off other people's energy energies and these people they do this when they are aware that they do this these people they look or seek for something to cover the void that they feel within themselves by making sure Uguti, they make the next person to feel miserable about themselves so that they won't be the only ones who feel bad about themselves or miserable about themselves in that particular space so you need to know when this thing is happening so that you can protect yourself chosen one it is very important to know these type of people because you are much likely to attract them you are much likely to attract them because you are the way you are so most of the time they would purposefully just target people who are empathetic so these are the type of people who would constantly try by all means to get access over your energy they want to feed off your energy by making you feel bad about yourself so that they can feel good about themselves for making you feel bad about yourself and if you are the chosen one you are much likely to attract these people who are like this people who are the chosen ones people who are empaths people who are givers by nature people who just care who just have big hearts by nature they tend to find these type of people a lot people who are energy vampires notice Uguti, every time when they speak do they really like consider genuinely you your feelings or other people's feelings no matter it's always 
them also somehow f- being featured in a conversation sometimes even when it's not about them you find Uguti, they're always going to want to talk about what they would have done better in a situation or if it was them how they would have punished the person who might have harmed or mistreated or did whatever they might uh, use a way of talking or communicating in a sense Uguti, they want to they want to make sure Uguti people f- feel like they are less than them they have that thing of wanting to be superior than everybody else. So even when somebody have accomplished or, or, or completed a beautiful thing in their life, so accomplished a particular goal, they're going to want to put themselves in a, an equation somehow. Like maybe somebody have accomplished something that they have never accomplished before. No matter they're just happy for something that they might have succeeded and managed to get for themselves. You will find Utama Energy Vampires are the type of people who want to ride on this other person's time so that they can also boast and talk about their own achievement in a very wrong time. So those are the things that they do. They know what they're going to do to you and they know what they're messing up with your mind. That's what they do. They play mind games at all times. Okay, the most unfortunate thing happened right now. Our mic just ran out of battery. So we're going to have to continue this video with our raw sound. I'm sorry for that, guys. They don't love themselves. They don't like their lives. They are ashamed about a lot of things in their lives. And so they just want to go around and spreading that low vibrational energy. Because if you are somebody who's lacking self-acceptance and self-love and accepting Jehuti, sometimes Imperial doesn't go the way we wish and things are going to fall apart sometimes. It's part and parcel of Imperial. Sometimes Imperial, you're going to want to pursue something and then you will change your mind and you'll feel like you don't love it anymore. You're going to be able to have the emotional intelligence of accepting Jehuti as in, I might have loved this particular thing at some point, but it doesn't reflect with who I chose to become or who I who or who life have you know managed to turn me into becoming. Because like let's be honest, there are many things that most of us we wanted to do and we cannot do all of them. And that's just part of life. And you need to come to the point where you really accept you would say, I don't have what I don't have, I have what I have and find ways of getting e wisdom of being able to utilize what you do have in a productive way that is going to bear beautiful fruit for you and the rest of the people who are involved in what you are gifted with or what you are using your gift for you know the, the energy vampires will not do that they will do the opposite i'm an energy vampires they love to copy and paste so the first thing that you want to do is to make sure Uti, you cut the access from them they should not have the access yako with what you do in your personal space what you do with your business what you do to grow what you do during mistake or during a uh, starting over or when you are in your rock bottom they should not have access of all these things they should not know when you have a headache or when you're sick because i know some of people they just love to you know share those things on social media like maybe whatsapp where someone will say i'm so hungry i'm so hot i have a headache there are people who should not know that immediate information yako that is happening at that particular time they should not have access to you in that level they will find ways to use it against you in the future when they want to either ask you something in a, with an aim obviously of stealing your energy because there's nothing that they will do a, which is not driven by greed which is not driven driven by them feeling the, the 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 feeling of being like entitled over your blessings or entitlement over the things that they are ask they are asking you to help them with they ask you but they already assume which you're gonna say yes because they have developed that entitlement with your space or with your with with being in your life they thought that now they figured you out now that's an issue people who think that they can use the information they get on your personal life or whether on the things that you choose to share in public or to the public those people once they start mimicking you once they start copying you okay we also know what about do when they show a sense of liking you they will start mimic you but it's not in a good way it's not always in a positive manner it's not in a way you they are willing to admit which i'm inspired by this person and now look at me let me do my things this way and see you know like or find whatever <laughs> between the lines of ways of like being genuine in how they are being inspired than to copy and paste 
energy vampires they copy and paste they don't get inspired but they start envying you for what you have and they start feeling like they are more deserving of what you show or what you have than you do or more than you are they will start thinking in their heads or planning how they would do it better but trust me if they were to be given your shoes they won't even be able to fill up half more. some energy vampires are not always going to be mean to you some of them they're gonna be super nice not because they are nice in a sense of beauty, they're just being genuine, but they're super nice because they want you to let your guard down. Once your guard is down, they know they can then start crossing, crossing your boundaries. They're gonna start having, asking favors that they shouldn't be asking for. They're gonna start thinking that they are very important in your life. Like they're gonna put themselves in a top list on a VIP in your life. And you'll find yourself feeling like this person is, 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 is forcing themselves in my space. Why do I feel uncomfortable when I'm around this person? Even if they haven't said or done anything, but we are easily uncomfortable feeling. You feel like, you know, it shouldn't feel like this, man. That is why it is very important to listen to your inner voice or to your inner higher God that is within you because it's the all-knowing. It knows things that you, your conscious self, is unable to make sense of. Don't wait for proof because it was a solar. You will regret. It is okay sometimes to just walk away from certain people without even explaining why you walked away because you felt and saw the things that you saw. Some of these people, they are so much into being energy vampires. They are not aware that they are doing these things. They're just doing it because they are so used to it. They've been like this for way too long. So when they start behaving in this manner, they think everything is fine and they will always put a blame on you. For, for, for walking away or behaving the way you do in attempt of protecting your space and creating healthy boundaries. They want to make it about you. They want to make you a bad person. So please make sure that you cut the access. They need to have a very bare minimum access to you. Especially if you feel like they're family, you're feeling bad for leaving them out. It's fine, but don't open all the doors and windows and everything for them because they are just not worthy of it okay another thing that you need to make sure is that when you have i think it's like a continuation of the first point you don't share your achievements with them like as much as you don't have to share a lot including your achievements your achievements you should not share they should know what is happening in your life from other people not from you they must not have the direct connection that allows them to see Uguti, what you are doing currently, what you have accomplished. They must not know your accomplishments because your accomplishments are a trigger to them and they are able to send evil energy towards you or evil eye energy towards you. Evil eye energy is basically envy. Envy is when you are jealous of someone for having something and you feel as if they're not deserving of it, but you are. Now, that's a very mentally messed up person to, to come to that point like it, it means you are that person themselves they are not in a good space they can even cause a lot of harm towards people that they are envy uh, towards simply because they they are unable to be happy for you or to accept to some of the things are for you not for them and some of them they will never have them even if they work so hard because it's just not in that dna to have those things you know like we have to come to an acceptance of Connie's needs in though that are just not for certain people no matter how much you might try by all means they are just not for certain people you know they are not part of your path they're not part of the, 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 the things that you always see, Sabelo Sako, our belly zone, you have your own things. And the more you find yourself chasing on, you keep on chasing on things that are not for you just because you are seeing those things from other people or you are seeing how people that you know are doing it so perfectly, you underestimate them and think, oh, if she can do it or he can do it, I can also do it. The question is, is it part of your path now do you have passion with it do you have history with this thing is it something you've been longing for is it coming from jealousy or it's coming from you really believing that you have a gift and you're genuine about doing this like those are the questions we must always constantly ask ourselves the, the chosen ones so that we don't also fall into a trap where we find ourselves operating from an energy vampire kind of energy you know, because it's easy when you've been a victim of these type of people for a lengthy period of time to start behaving like them. 
especially if you allow them in your space and you share some time with them you will find yourself attracting similar situations and problems that they are attracting you will find your your life is gonna just become a mess out of nowhere you will find what you start complaining more about life and things that are happening more than you talk about beautiful things you it, it comes gradually gradually until it becomes part and parcel of your behavior or your personality it becomes who you are and once it is embedded and attached to you in that level it is hard work to have to unlearn and undo what you have done so it is very important to protect yourself from abandu who are low vibrational energies or people who are energy thieves people who are energy vampires people who seek to make other people sick these people are very common in workplaces you find the they're gonna try to get you fired they're gonna try to say you said something to some other colleagues they just want chaos because they operate from the low vibrational energy so i hope that this video did find you in a good space and thank you so much for tuning in until wednesday again we're gonna meet but thank you so much guys see you next time love and light